We're in Baltimore, on the American East Coast. Here we want to meet Dan Jensen, the man who has allegedly only eaten pizza for the past 25 years. We met, of course, in a pizzeria and wanted to know firsthand, is it really true? I've been eating pizza for breakfast, lunch and dinner every day for 25 years. 99.9% .9 of my diet is pizza and cheese pizza. I don't like toppings. Three cheese pizzas per day. That surely can't be healthy. Although we have to admit that the 40-year-old looks in pretty good shape. Dan is aware of how radical his diet is. I'm here to encourage all kids. Um, you don't need to eat healthy children. You need to eat pizza. Pizza is a wonder food. You have your vegetables in the sauce, you have your cheese, which dairy, and then you have your um, carbohydrates for energy. So I know it's not good to have carbohydrates these days, there's sort of a push against it, but I say go for it. This approach has made Dan really famous. In the pizzeria, he's treated as a guest of honor, with whom the cooks also like to pose for a picture. On the internet, Dan is celebrated by die-hard pizza lovers as a hero. The man who has eaten almost 30,000 pizzas so far has become a media phenomenon. And that sometimes brings bizarre results. It can be overwhelming. Probably the most unusual request I got was from um, South Korean national television wanted either me to go there or them to come here and interview me because they said I disproved the Western conspiracy against grain and they wanted me to sort of do propaganda for them for their country. <laughs> I turned that down. Dan gets his injection ready after the meal because he's a diabetic. He has to inject a dose of insulin after each meal. We're dumbfounded. Shouldn't he be eating a lot more responsibly with diabetes and eat more balanced food? Yeah. Right. Thanks. Thanks. Appreciate it. Later, we'll go with him to a doctor for a thorough examination. But first, shopping in the supermarket. Relatively straightforward for the pizza man. First, he goes to the freezers. He gets frozen pizza for the next few weeks. So, typical week, I'd probably get mm, four or five of these, um, just to have as backup to have. Dan isn't eating gourmet pizza at the moment. The frozen pizzas are a perfect lunch when he doesn't have time to stop by the pizzeria. But for tonight, he's invited guests over, and there will even be baked pizza. And since not all his friends only like cheese pizza, he also has to buy something for toppings. Vegetables, for example. That's not easy for Dan. Um, the only one that I'm familiar with is the green kind of pepper. Okay. So I didn't even know they made orange peppers until right now. No, I would never, never eat this. Why? What advantage? This is just like... Well, it's got vitamins. It's like eating a green sponge. I would never eat that. I can get my vitamins from a Flintstones. Slowly we realize that Dan has a real problem. He's easily disgusted, especially by vegetables. Pizza isn't just his passion. He hardly likes anything else. Beyond that, his lifestyle is pretty healthy, by the way. As a carpenter, he spends a lot of time on his feet. In addition, he works out several times a week. This helps him in coping with over 4,000 pizza calories per day. Dan likes his pizza in a very American way. Lots of dough, lots of tomato sauce and extra cheese. What he doesn't like is our version. All the German pizza I tried was terrible. Maybe they got their pizza game going, maybe they've changed, maybe I didn't go to the right restaurants, but I did try pizza in Germany and um, the guy who only eats pizza for his in, you know for the past 25 years when I was in Germany I ate pretzels the fatty American pizza is ready after 12 minutes in the oven up next come the vegetable pizzas for the guests a difficult task for the man who is so disgusted by vegetables 
It's a good thing that Dan's wife is here. She's a vegetarian and wants to help her husband with the preparation. A pretty tough affair. I think that's going to be gross on pizza, but I know the trend today is to eat gross things. So let's well, do it. I mean, what's gross to you isn't gross to other people. I know. It's... Madeline and Dan have been married for two years, and she's been trying to move her husband away from the exclusive pizza diet for at least as long. So far, without success. I was, at first, I wasn't bothered by it at all, really. Um, I thought, that's fine, you know, everyone has their own weird eating habits. But um, now I do kind of worry about the way that it affects its, his health. If not now, then later on down the line. Is she right? We'll check it out later at the doctor's visit. But for now, the guests arrive. Friends that Dan has known since his childhood. He grew up in Baltimore. They assured us that Dan has been eating almost nothing but pizza since he was 15 years old. Wow. Yeah. I wasn't shocked that we were having pizza. I'm shocked that he made the pizza, but I'm, I know when I come here, it's gonna be pizza. <laughs> Namely, cheese pizza. The classic pizza margarita. Here in America, it's usually soggier and thicker than ours, but it's well received by the group. But what about the vegetable pizza? Dan is actually trying a bite for his wife's sake. And? It's good. Wait, did you, were there any vegetables on the bite that you took? Yeah, it's good. You can eat the rest. <laughs> Dan sticks to the cheese pizza. It's surprisingly not so bad nutritionally. Pizza contains carbohydrates in the dough, minerals and vitamins in the tomato sauce, calcium and protein in the cheese. But cheese is fatty, 30 grams per pizza, almost half an adult's daily requirement. And a cheese pizza has very little fiber. You should eat 30 to 50 grams per day, preferably from whole grains, fruits and vegetables. But Dan never eats it. So does he have symptoms of a specific deficiency? We want to find out from the doctor. I am a little bit nervous every time I go to the doctor. The worst thing that she could tell me would be that I have to stop eating pizza. We'll see. Dan is now undergoing a thorough checkup for us. He gave a blood sample a few days ago. Hello. Now we'll know how his pizza only diet really affects his body. How are his digestion and cholesterol levels? And how much does a pizza diet affect his diabetes? The results are in. Good or bad news for Dan? This is not a fasting. Right now, you know, as a 40-year-old with insulin-dependent diabetes, you're doing extremely well. It's not a vitamin-complete diet. You are getting your basic energy sources there. And because it's a high-fat food, that's probably helping you with keeping your blood sugar more stable. Blood levels and cholesterol, everything OK. To our surprise, Dan is very healthy. Nevertheless, the doctor gives him a warning. Doing this has been very helpful for him, but I wouldn't recommend this for, um, for anybody unless they check with their doctors. You know, it's, very, it's a lot of um, fast foods, uh, high fats, unhealthy fats, and very low in, in vegetables. So vegetables are such heart healthy things. If you're going to do grains, doing whole grains. Conclusion? A pizza diet almost without vitamins and fiber is not recommended. Dan is an exception. He's relatively young and active. As a diabetic, he has to control his diet. For him, such a one-sided diet isn't wrong. It was sort of reassuring to hear that confirmation. And um, as she said, there, there are things that I can improve, things I can work on. But um, it was a relief. Now the Pizza King has no real reason to eat anything else. Will I ever get sick of pizza? I hope that day never comes. And if it does, put a bullet in my head.